All right, as we return back to the huddle, ya se está poniendo oscurito. That means it's time for you guys to get out here and enjoy International or National Beer Day here with the only place with the coldest beers, coldest margaritas, and wettest wings and nationally chosen margar uh, mecheladas. Uh, also, if you guys want to have endless wherever you go hotspot, you guys saw that great commercial of on Magenta Max. Hit up our friend Michael Andrade. Tell him to hook you up with this unlimited 5G hotspot. Right now, it is 50% off. That's what we're using to bring you this transmission. So definitely, you guys hit them up there at T-Mobile. Definitely with that 5G, not 4G LTE. I'm talking about 5G hotspot. But with me now, with me now, our class president from... No other than the Del Rio High School Rio High class. School. Yes, sir. Del Rio High School class of 2021. Mr. Reno Luna, how's it going, sir? It's been a while. How are you doing? Oh, uh, aquí andamos. Like All I said, right. we we are enjoying it. I think more than anything right now, as as you know, these months, <laughs> you know, busy. that it's, it's getting, getting busy. It's getting busy. Let alone it's getting to those interesting months. Yes, sir. Where a lot of festivities. If you guys have junior, if you have seniors out there. Que ahorita ya están nerviosos. This is yep. it. One Final big push. thing coming up is prom. Prom, yes, sir. Can you give us some information as far as what's going to be going on for prom for uh, out there, your, your, your peers there at the Del Rio High School? Yes, sir. So uh, prom will be hosted Saturday, May 15th at Del Rio High School. Uh, that'll be from 8 to 12. Tickets are going to cost $25, and the theme for this year is Enchanted Garden. Tickets will be sold starting next Monday, which is April 12th, and that'll run through the 23rd uh, after school in the student parking lot. During those two weeks, tickets will only be for seniors of GRHS, Early College High School, and the Blended Academy. The maximum age for anyone to attend prom is 20 years old. Okay. Any guest who is not a student from within SFDR CISD is required to fill out some paperwork, which can be picked up at the Early College High School office. Uh, it is required that they have a copy of photo ID to turn in with that paperwork. And the attire for the event is formal, meaning no jeans, no tennis shoes, and all men attending the event must wear a tie. Oh, so pretty. Uh, uh, one thing that I, did, that I did like there, and, mm -hmm. and you, you said it, and people are like, huh, 20? Well, you got to understand, some of these kids had friends. Mm -hmm. When they were, when they were uh, seniors, they were just uh, sophomores. Yes, sir. So... That gives them that opportunity to welcome them back and like, hey, pues, you want to you go with me and stuff like that? Oh, okay, está bueno. So, you know, that is why the, the, the they age have, limit there is at 20, yes, which is completely understandable. When I was in high school, I made a lot of friends that and were, that were seniors. Uh, one of them that he was just uh, liking the way I commented, uh, Chemo, when it, I was just uh, <laughs> there. So definitely um, great that, that, that you guys are getting a prom. Um, yes. I'm, everyone's excited about everyone it. uh more than that is you being so verbally out there and, and pushing it out there saying hey you know we are going to have one these are our rules let's have a organized one safe we, we don't want nothing backlash out of that exactly exactly um reno and and i know uh we have a, a, a you said when you come when it comes to prom and i know i, I want to ask you this okay go ahead bow tie or tie tie Tie, tie I'm guy. Classic, tie. Do you got somebody already that you're going to go with? The <laughs> magical gotta, question. It's the promposal season. The I, think, prompo I think we're going to start seeing those, I would say for sure, this weekend. Oh, should that, be, that should be fun. Híjole, so definitely <laughs> promposals, that's what we're uh, going to, like I said, is uh, what we're looking forward to. Uh, I know you got some more information there, Reno, who, who, that you would like to share with us. So another thing that's going on right now, that's uh, it's taking off is the adopt a senior page that's on facebook so the adopt a senior thing is a really cool concept it's uh the parents of del Rio high school class of 2021 seniors have come together and uh they're trying to bring positivity to the graduates uh, here in the last few months prior to graduation uh, the goal is for the students to experience the power of uh, the community coming together to provide encouragement uh during such uncertain times and still uh, everything's changing by the minute for us so you know, adopt a senior, and I, I kind of want to fill people in in Del Rio. It's a, uh, it's a little different. You know, obviously because of the whole COVID situation. You know, twelve years. 
12 years? Uh, add if you did pre-K, add if you did any more other than learning. You know, that is an accomplishment on its own, you know, let alone to have it. And then, uh, you know, just I, I, I'm not like I said, I don't know. Hopefully we could get uh, some clarification on graduation here in the yes, coming sir. weeks by our superintendent, Dr. Rios. Um, you know, you want to make it special. Comienzan de chiquito. You know, they're about to, Mercedes and Rob about to start carrying one, and pretty soon, the, the before time flies, they're going to be just like you, crossing that stage, y las lágrimas, <laughs> y las lágrimas. Like I said, but adopt a senior, it doesn't mean to say, oh, it's, it's any little show of, of, appreciation. of appreciation. And it's, it's really simple to do. So uh, for those who want to be adopted, all it takes is a Facebook account, uh, join the uh, group, Post a photo of yourself or have, if one of your parents wants to sign you up, they're more than welcome to. And just a short biography about yourself. Plenty of examples on that group. You can see it and just kind of go with what they're doing. Very simple. Very simple. And if you guys join that page, por favor, go on Facebook. Search up Adopt a Senior. To, a, to Adopt a Senior, to, simple yeah, too. Yeah. It's even easier. So all you do, join the page, look through the post, see if there's someone you want to adopt, and then adopt them. And it's that simple, that yeah. simple. See if there's anyone you want to adopt. And you know what I liked about when I joined that group and I know we adopted uh, one ourselves, my wife did for her business, also Memo did on his own too from the radio station also. Uh, what, what we loved about it is the vision these uh, students are having towards post-secondary education. education. Yes, you sir. know, they say, hey, we're going to go to UTSA. I saw one that's going to Harvard. Harvard, and we have some going to Yale y Those are MIT. Ivy League schools. Yes, sir. Ivy League schools coming out of Del Rio yeah. that are going to make a impact in our, not only in our community, not only in our state, but in our, our nation. nation. Yes, sir. Ivy League and probably the world, you never know. You never know, the but like possibilities are endless. You know, as I, as I browsed through there, and I was like, "Whoa, Harvard? <laughs> Where? I mean, I thought that was just like San Antonio. No. You go to no, no, that's coming out of Del Rio High, coming Class out of, of Del Twenty Twenty One. You know, don't look in it. All they need is, they, I mean, they don't ask for much. And it doesn't have to be a basket. No. It doesn't have to be a gift. Just words of encouragement, more than enough. There you go. Yes, you know, simple little things, cositas that you can say, whoa, really? That's it? That all motivates them to go to the next step of post-education. My, my third question here, uh, Mr. Luna, is I know, uh, we, you know, I'm, I was, I'm glad that we were able to broadcast not only Rams and Queens soccer, a little bit of basketball, you know, a little bit of basketball, uh, football, by all means, you were there. <laughs> yes, that sure. was all there. But this, your senior season, their senior season, your senior year, their senior year, let alone your class president, most of the team sports are in playoffs. Great. They've been doing great. We, well, we just had soccer. Yeah. Made it to the third round of playoffs. Third round of playoffs. Great. Our Queens made it to the first round. Uh, you know, football. Made it, made it to the first round of playoffs basketball. too. Basketball, basketball. You, you never know. You know, probably champions on their own too. Yep. Um, we can't forget about our track and field too. They're going to area. They're going to area, doing it big. Yes, you sir. as a class president, how do you feel for your peers that are in those sports right now? You know, this year we had so much more to gain by doing those those athletic events. You know, being able to come back and be together with your friends. And I feel like it was a big motivation to be out there and just come back together to something that felt a little bit normal. And I think that's why everyone's been doing so great. And, you know, we're excited to at least be together possibly once again in the future. So, yes. And like I said, uh, for me, as uh, for the first time broadcasting, when I started in football, working my way now into into baseball and saying that I've been in playoffs every every sport, mm -hmm. I feel happy let alone, I'm pretty sure the class president, uh, <laughs> yes, uh, I'm not sure if you want to mention and take this time to mention uh, the your rest maybe of, of your cabinet there, of your, uh, uh, under you, like your, your so VP. So my vice president, we have Tamika Gonzalez, my secretary, Alyssa Torres, my historian is Alexi, uh, I do not know her last name, mm -hmm. Esquivel, sorry. Esquivel, Esquivel, okay. And then our uh, treasurer is Aiden Cannon. So I'm sure they're happy. I just saw them this week. Everyone was doing great. We're excited for what's to come. 
Because, again, you're right, these next two months are going to be the busiest of the year for us. And I know wh who is real excited more than anything is your dad. <laughs> you are going to our University of Texas. You're going to be em horns. hook them horns. <laughs> that alone is on its feet on itself. So I'm pretty sure your dad not only has se le hincho, se le <laughs> but at that same time, a couple of tears out there because that's, that's what every parent out there wants for their kid. Uh, any other quick information that you would like to share out to the people watching so, of what's going on in Del Rio High? I know we've been talking about graduation, uh, end of year festivities. They're looking, they're looking good. Right now, plans for graduation are, uh, they're being worked on right now by administration. Uh, myself and a few of other a few of the other class uh, leaders were able to have some input with the administrators and so my class really appreciates that uh, but as of right now there are no solid plans but many options are being looked at and so uh, i'm sure we'll hear back on that and i'd love to come back and talk more on that yes yeah, just... uh, other end of year festivities that they have prior to graduation also being looked at, at for feasibility and uh some are already being planned they will take place and uh, i'd love to come back and talk Little bit yes, more yes, by all means, as, as it gets closer, we get some clarification. Of course. Uh, you know, by all means, KWC is always welcome. The mics, our Facebook live videos to you, Mr. Luna. By all means, I believe all the class of 2021 are heroes, are great achievers. It was, it because I see it as a father going uh, with my girls in zoom batallando <laughs> helping me take care of, of bow is a feat on its own so i could just imagine yourself seniors that are going and and going above and beyond is even harder you know of course. uh but by all means thank you reno thank once you. again everybody if you guys want to show some encouragement go to facebook adopt a senior please adopt a senior you don't need to buy them nada just some words of encouragement but if you're feeling gracious by all means, something as they go on to their future. Reno, appreciate it. As we yes, go to sir. quick commercial breaks, be back with more closing statements of the huddle. And we're about to make some people happy in here. We'll all see right. what happens. See y'all later. See you in here in the, after some quick commercial.